Hey guys, it is Lydia and I went to Kroger tonight and I'm going to show you some of the goodies that I stocked up on. I kind of laughed at my, with my husband. I said, you know, I went to Kroger to go grocery shopping and you'll see the stuff that I have down here on the table. Not much of it is food. I said, you know, uh, this is the, like the few food items that I got. But they had some really good non-food item sales this week. And so I wanted to go and take advantage of them. They're all things that we would normally use. So it wasn't like I was going out and buying things that we wouldn't use. So I'm gonna start showing you what I got today. The first thing, this was a non-sale item. Um, I'm having problems with my bathtub. I'm not sure if it was dirty when we moved in. I'm not the best housekeeper. But I've tried a few different things. I've tried good old bleach. I've tried vinegar and Dawn dish soap and it is not coming clean. So this is my next challenge. So if you have any great um, tub cleaners, I would love to hear them. This is what we're gonna try. This is not a sale, this was an essential. Um, Yesterday I got coupons in the mail, so I got eggs for free. I am once again shocked how much Kroger's eggs are compared to quality eggs. These Doritos and this little candy bar. These are the Kroger freebies for the last two weeks. So we picked those up. I'm kind of a sucker for tortilla chips. And I feel like it's a little healthier than other chips. I know, it's probably really not the best. But I have coupons for these two, so one bag was like 60 cents and the other two were maybe 75 cents. So I got three bags of tortilla chips. And then with coupon and I bought a rebate and the deals at Kroger this week. They have this new Miracle Curl shampoo conditioner. Um, I've tried to follow the curly girl with my daughters. They both have curly hair. So I'm not sure that these are yeah, I don't think these are Curly Girl approved, but we will use them, I will use them, somebody and we'll use them. So, we'll see. My husband was wanting um, some cereal and I had a coupon for a Malto meal and if you'll see, this is not Malto meal brand. But I got two bags of this they can't use the coupon to make get a better deal. And it wasn't as good of a deal, but I think it was still cheaper with the big bag than it would have been like at Aldi maybe. I'm not sure, but I thought it was gonna be a better deal than it really was. But it's something he really wanted, so I picked those up. I got five packs of these, and with the sale at Kroger and with the coupon, the five bags were free. Um, I kind of have problems with these little gel packs just because I have little kids and it makes me a little nervous. So I am actually gonna use these for graduation presents. We got invited to several graduation parties this year and these will make a good, I think I'm gonna do like this and I actually got three tubes of toothpaste for free and put together like a little college bound, whether they stay at home or if they go away, things that would be useful for them. So three tubes of this were also free. They'll probably, like I said, go in the gifts as well. I got two bottles of barbecue sauce. These were 49 cents with the Kroger sale that was going on. Um, I needed two more items to get up to the four to save the $4. And we use a decent amount of barbecue sauce, so that was a good filler item for me to be able to save the $4 without spending a whole lot more money. I also got a pack of Pampers and Two packs of loves and I think with coupons and the sale they were like $3.49 a pack and I try to stay under five dollars a pack for diapers I really I still struggle with buying diapers we cloth diapered until my girls were down to just nap time bedtime and I was having a hard time keeping up with the smell because I wasn't getting them washed frequently enough so to buy <laughs> disposal diapers is kind of killing me um, my oldest actually fairly well put her own diaper on tonight and I told her, I said, well, if you can put your own diaper on, it's um, time to stop wearing a diaper. But we're not to that point yet. And I don't want to wash bed sheets every night. I also got two packs of Huggies wipes. These are 50 cents. And I'm finding that as summer comes, nights we don't need to take showers. They're really good for feet on the girls. And I also got two tubs of ice cream that I forgot to pull out there in her freezer. 
and they were $1.50 for Turkey Hill after a coupon. So, you know, and I also got five um, things of jars. These with an Ibotta discount were, they were $8.99 and $10.99 and then $3 back with Ibotta. So I spent, look over here at my list, I spent $104.79, which, no, I spent $90.42. And I saved $104.79 off what retail would have been. I was able to get $21 back from Ibotta. So it was $69.42 for all of this after the Ibotta rebates. Um, if I took out the price of the jars, sorry, I'm looking at my numbers. It was $29.47 for all the groceries and toiletries and all that stuff. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um, the jars are something we'll use at the end of the summer. So... Yeah, if you are near a Kroger, this is the week to go and stock up on some of these things. And if they're things that you normally use, there's some really good deals. I go to KrogerCrazy.com in order to find coupon match-ups. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. And I hope to see you in the next true grocery shopping trip. So have a good evening. Bye.